Hey folks, Turbine Guy back at you today. Today we got a great video. We're going to compare some of the knockoff vertical axis wind turbines to the Hibot vertical axis wind turbine. And in the process, we're going to give you an idea of if you're online looking for any wind turbine, some of the things to look for, like certification, size, power, and that kind of deal. Now, today's video is brought to you by Go Green Energy. It's my company. Uh, I've been working with Hibot and the wind turbines for a decade now and I am one of their US uh, distributors as we'll see right here Go Green Energy a distributor of Hivot Technology Corp. Now I've also been named the US technical representative so if there's ever a technical issue in the country I'm the guy who gets a call in the United States. Now we're talking knockoffs. Where are you gonna find a knockoff other than ta -da, made in China? Okay well, I found this site, and what this does is you can type anything in here. I did vertical turbine. You can type anything in and see what's made in China and what you can buy. And we, we scroll down the list here a little ways, and shortly we run into a knockoff and another knockoff. So go ahead and click on this bottom one first there, Kaler. And what do we come up with? Small vertical 46800 one kilowatt turbine generator, 369 to 380 a piece. I think that's kind of crazy. AC3 phase and you go down a little more do they have any certifications yes they got a certification to CE and an ISO those are both voluntary certifications they're not third party anybody could have a certification like that if they just want to say they do and that's what they have going for them 400 watt turbine 26 kilograms that sounds about right 1.4 meter diameter that's about right for this size now go ahead and come down those are your specs and see the turbine that's what they're selling you? But what's in the box? Something else. Different colored. It's got these bolts around the bottom. It's not the same turbine. Okay? So they're selling you one thing in all these pictures and something else in the box. Let's go to the next one. The 3 kilowatt. Now notice how that says 3 kilowatts, right? 3 kilowatts. Okay, you go down, da -da. specifications, rated power, 3 kilowatts, yet max power output of 3.5 watts. Now that might be a typo, but th really 3.5 watts, that's like nothing. That can't even run my pointer here. Now what we do have is the wheel height, 1.35 meters, that's about 4 feet. There's no way something that's 4 feet tall is going to be able to put out three kilowatts it's physically impossible it's a violation of physics for that to happen so there's no way so i'm looking at this and thinking if they really do have that one then it's got to be similar to a three or four hundred watt like we just looked like in the last one now we look and these turbines all are identified uh, uh for, from a company called Titemar by the spikes and the balls on top and you can tell from a distance that they're not the high watt turbine. Go down some more. You can see, once again, they have all those bolts we saw in the last picture with the red and, red and uh, blue one that have, uh, th that those bolts hold it together. So this turbine that they're selling, the Titemar turbine, and we'll show you that next. I believe. Ta -da. And here we go. Shenzhen Titemar Wind Energy Technology Company. You can see the turbines uh, floating through. There you go. You can see how they got the ball on top. Let's head down a little bit, Kaler. I don't show you much else. They show you their company history, but unfortunately, when you read through this um, and you try to find some of these things, like at a wind farm, they're going to have turbines. There's just none of them there when you search a wind farm. So I'm very suspicious of this Titemar company, uh, and a big reason is I heard through the grapevine, through my contacts out of China, that these people recently declared bankruptcy and they're out of business. And from what I understand, there's nothing bigger than one kilowatt vertical axis similar to ours built in China anymore. Maybe some three or four hundred watts, but nothing big. Let's go to the next one, Taylor. Now here's just another place, uh, TradeSpark. And they come up with the same. You can see the little ball on top and the colors. And it's got the, bolt, the bolts down there. This is a Thai Titemar product. Now go down. Description. Okay, here's a description. Let's go down. Terms. 
There are no specifications really. They give you a description. Beware. Beware. Come down. There are no certifications. There's no specifications. There's really not a lot there. You as a buyer have to beware when you're searching and know what to look, what to look for, especially when it comes to these vertical axis wind turbines because there have been so many failures in the marketplace. Let's go to the next one, Kayla. The frame, and we get to Alico. Now, if we notice Alico sells gates, gate openers, home, kitchen supplies, mailboxes, paintbrushes, pillows, saunas. They sell pets. Well, pet accessories, awnings, and when you get to outdoor, you finally get to green energy. Okay, so Alico who sells a lot of these wind turbines. There we go. They sell other kinds too. Go ahead and click on one of these, Kaler. There you go, 489. One more time, let's go down to product description. You've got some details and technical specs, but where are the certifications? I don't see any certifications. Okay, package includes one vertical wind generator. Now that's something you have to be aware of. Does anyone see a charge controller up here? Does anyone see an inverter? No. A lot of these wind turbines, they come so cheap because they don't have the electronics that go with them. Now, we've been talking about these Chinese knockoffs. We looked at Made in China, and even Alico's selling these. Uh, you know, and I, I get people call me from Alico, and you think, whatever, we're not going to get these in the U.S. Well, I got news for all of you guys. Let's go to the next window, Kaler. Amazon. Try Prime. Selling the Alico wind turbine. See a little ball on top. 300 bucks plus shipping, 370, whatever. They're selling these. These things, we have not been able to find UL listings. We've not been able to find any certifications. And you can be buying these. Now, the interesting thing is, customer reviews are big to a lot of people. Right here, we got three customer reviews that are all one star. Nothing else, one star. Let's go down and look at them. First one, damage. Package was damaged, turbine was damaged, both orders. This guy, I guess, was uh, goofy enough to think doing it once and getting screwed wasn't enough. He did it twice. Next one, one star. Half work, half don't. Have installed four of these. First two work like gangbusters, lots of power, everybody happy. The next two were duds, never produce power. Do not waste your money. Once you look closer, they are very shoddily constructed and impossible to repair. Next one, Barry Baker, one star, cheap Chinese crap. Okay, at least one of these three phases is faulty no matter how much wind is present, would not produce more than 35 watts. Well, uh, that's 10% of the rated capacity, 35 watts. Constant low voltage error. Working with the dealer in the factory, as soon as I proved the product was faulty, they stopped talking to me and just ignored the problem. Just ignored the problem. That's a problem with the Leco. That's a problem with Titemar, especially considering they're, they're most likely bankrupt now. But it's not a problem with HiBot. Because if you have a problem with the HiBot, I get the phone call. I talk to you, I help you out, and I solve the problem. Okay, well, we are at HiBot, and you notice their website's going to be a little more re robust, and it's going to give us a lot of the information that we need. Uh, they got three 700, 1500, 3000 watt models, and the hybrid streetlights. Why don't you click on one of them, Kayla, and we'll just take a look at the kind of information you can get. They give you a ton of specs, just like you need. They give you one, two, three, four different controller options. And the best one I like is the last. It's a wind charger, off-grid. So it's for charging battery banks, 48-volt battery banks. Now, you can also go to Downloads, and... You can get a user manual, which is a big, honest-to-God user manual that gives you all the information you need to buy, unpack, install, and set up one of these wind turbines. I haven't seen that from anyone else. And then we got a nice little spec sheet that's going to show you, you know, all the specs that we looked at and have that in a handy spot. Go back up if you would, Kaler. Actually, let's go to the end here. We have photo galleries and project galleries. Why don't you just pick one of those? And you go down, and these are actual Hi-Va products. This, I believe, is in Akita, Japan, where they have a bunch of them. Okay, and then we go again. Ah, not sure, China or Taiwan, but you can see the turbines. One more time, a bunch of them all in a row. 
up on top of a building. Now, one thing I do want to look at one more time, Kayla, can you go to the top, please? Go to the Resources tab, and we got Certificates. Now, you got to understand, a lot of these actions here aren't necessarily certificates, but they're accomplishments. And they're accomplishments that helped HiVot achieve the recent SWCC, SWCC certification. 2010, they got the ISO 9000 on their factory, which kind of proved their factory was up to par, running nice and clean. 2011, they did a bunch of uh, power durability and performance and safety testing. Well, when I came on the scene full force in 2012, I worked with HiVot to get the ETL market generator safety. What that is, is that is a UL type listing, which means that that product can be sold off the shelf in any store in the United States. Something no other wind turbine you're going to find has. Not only that, they went through some durability acoustic performance safety testing more because of that to the point where they were able to achieve the Japanese NK certification, which is similar to US to SWCC. They also received the UL1741 certificate for the control cabinet for the turbine. So when you're grid tied, you are completely legal anywhere in the U.S. It's an automatic shutdown just like a solar system is. And the, elect the electrical workers along the line are going to be protected. Now the one thing we're missing on top, which we're going to get to shortly. I'm going to have to give Hivot a call here. Get that SWCC listed. So if we want to go to my website at Go Green Energy, you can go to the micro wind power section, scroll down, and you can see SWCC certification. Here's a close up of it. Is your rated annual energy sound and all that. Now what's important about an SWCC certification? What's important about that? Well what's important about the SWCC it, like the UL, Intertech, and the other safety tags, is it's a third-party confirmation that the product works. HiVot as the only vertical axis wind turbine in not only the United States, but the entire world to be able to receive these types of certifications. There's nobody else. There are some propeller styles, there's some propeller styles, but HiVot's the only one. Now I really want to wrap this up with the quality aspect of all this. HiVot's been there for 10 years. They stand behind their product. I'm there to talk to you if you need it. And they come in the United States five year warranty on manufacturer defects. Five years. Nobody else in the world can match that. So what have we seen? We've seen Chinese stuff that is inferior in quality. We've seen Chinese stuff with no certifications. We've seen Chinese stuff that has selling one product, but there's another. And we've seen Hiva, who everybody is trying to copy, but nobody's been able to. All right, folks, this is a Turbine Guy signing off. Until next time. What do you think? I think that one was better. <laughs> <laughs>